Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I am Empress Real One, 584 The Good Witch. If this is your first time visiting me, I would like to thank you. While you are here, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. By taking this action, it will help me to grow. Also, take a moment to read my About page so that you can have some understanding of who I am. I will never copy another person's work, nor will I copy another person's title. I am authentically me. This work is a part of my bloodline. Thank you for visiting and I pray that you will return. Please check out my other videos. All are welcome to share his or her story in the comments section below because your story may be a helpmate to someone else. My channel is a no judgment zone place for healing in some sort of way. If my video does not resonate with you, please do not try to make it fit. For everyone else and anyone else that this message does make sense to, take from it what helps you on your journey towards happiness in every area of your life. Please check out my other videos only if you know what your placements are. Cross watchers, you are welcome. I am Empress Real 1584, The Good Witch. To all my followers, my soul tribe, thank you for being patient with me. I had to take some time out because I had to deal with different situations concerning my family. However, things will work itself out in time. Today, I would like to discuss with you numbers, as I call them, angel numbers, as some of you may refer to them as angel numbers as well. The meaning of angel numbers is usually related to your guardian angels, them wanting to send you guidance and comfort in numerology, the numbers one through nine each have their own personal meanings and will show up in your personal life to communicate a message with you or to draw you, to make you aware of something. Angel numbers can show up in the most mundane places. You may see them on a license plate, billboards, phone numbers, addresses. If you love to read the pages of a book or a magazine, or even when looking at a clock, or anywhere in which numbers show up in your life. If you continue to see the same numbers over and over and over again, this possibly could be because your ascended masters are sending you an auspicious sign that something is worth paying attention to. Your angels are trying to guide you from our divine forces and are here to lend a helping hand when it comes to personal growth and taking steps on your spiritual journey. So when I read my cards, if I see or feel a number that stands out, I will give you the meaning of that number because it may pertain to the message that I'm delivering to you. However, my readings are not personal readings. Although I have a few subscribers, 
there are many people that watch my videos. And my videos may make sense to some and may not make sense to others. I want you to take from it what will help you to grow. I encourage you all to leave a message. If something resonates with you, share your story in my comment section because your story may help another person. Also, I do respond to all of my messages. I do respond to all of the comments. I am a mother first. I am a grandmother. And so if I have a feeling about something, no matter what your age is, I'm going to tell you how I feel. But my feelings, don't let it cloud your own judgment because you know your story better than I do. I thank you for patiently waiting. Welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. I am Empress Real 1584, The Good Witch. As you know, I always start off with my lover's oracle deck. My cards have been cleansed. I do sage them as well. Because when I do a reading, I don't like to bring energies from one reading to the next. Today, I will be starting off with the sign of Cancer. If you are a Cancer, happy birthday, right? Your birthday is coming. I'm a Cancer. I start celebrating as soon as summer arrives. You know why? because I'm grateful to be here another year. My age, I won't discuss that, <laughs> not right now. However, I'm thankful, I'm grateful to be here. This reading is for Cancers. Whether you're a sun, moon, or rising, this reading is for Cancer. Cross watchers, you are welcome. Let me say this to you. We all have other placements in our birth charts. So if you know what your other placements are, and if this video does not resonate with you, check out another reader. Check out one of my videos. I want you to feel good. I want you to be happy. My readings that I do right here are not personal readings. They are for the collective. However, if my reading resonates with you, share your story. This reading is for my cancers or anyone that have cancers in their birth chart. Please tell me what I need to hear. Show me what I need to see. This reading is for the sign of cancer. That's one card. One more, one more. Well, I have to take them, and I do have four cards, and I'm going to take them all, and I will let you know what's at the bottom of the deck as well. 
we're starting off with the sign of Cancer. Today I did a reading on myself. And ironically, I got this same card. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Take a look at this card. When you see this card, what are you feeling? Because the card says, let there be closeness between you. If you are in a relationship, let there be closeness between the two of you. But always give each other space. That means sometimes you may need a little break from one another. Sometimes you may need space. If you live together, that simply means someone may be in the living room watching television and the other person may be in the bedroom. One person may be in the bedroom, the other person may be in the basement. However, give each other some space because love never claims. It simply allows and gives. When you look at this card, what do you see? Playfulness. If you're in a relationship, even if you're not in a relationship, someone is ready to have some fun because laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together if you have a partner, if you are married, if you're just starting a relationship, this relationship needs playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Playfulness. This relationship cancer needs playfulness. You both love each other. However, things have become stagnant. Passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. The two of you may take some time to go away. The two of you may just want to lay in bed and enjoy each other's company. Whatever this card means to you, passion, let your passion ignite. When you see this card, what are you feeling? What do you see? Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness, cancer, if you are in a relationship, if you are married, if you are seeing someone, dating someone, or getting to know someone, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magnetically transform. Cancer, you and your person are individuals. You feel the way you feel about certain things and they too feel the way they feel about certain things. But criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magnetically transform. At the bottom of the deck, 
When you see this card, what are you feeling? Take your time. We're not in a rush. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. There's no right or wrong to a relationship. The two of you are learning about each other every single day. You're understanding each other likes and dislikes. You're understanding each other's body language. You're learning everything about your person as they are getting to know things about you. So when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. As I always say, my channel is a place for no judgment. This is a no judgment zone for healing. In your relationship, you should take the same approach and allow your relationship to be a no judgment zone place for healing as well. So far, this seems to be a relationship reading. This is a reading for a cancer that is currently married. This is for a cancer that is in a relationship. This reading is for a cancer that is getting to know someone. We will use spiritual news. This is my spiritual news deck. It's by Beauty and the Soul. As I said, all of my cards are cleansed. If you are a cross watcher, welcome. Cancers, you have birthdays coming up. So let me say it again in advance. Happy birthday. Spiritual news. Spirit guys. Two cards, please. Two cards for the sign of cancer. Tell me what I need to hear. Show me what I need to see for the sign of cancer. Hmm. Guys, I'm going to take them. I have four again. Breaking news. Breaking news. Focus on the now. We often forget to live in the present because we are too busy dwelling on the past and worrying about the future. Spirit says to remain in the present moment at all times. Cancer, if you're dealing with someone and the relationship is new, you're learning about each other. However, one of you, whether it's you, Cancer, or your person, they keep going back to the past of who you were once with. You have to focus on the now, on what the two of you have. This just in, 
this just in. Spirit wants you to be grateful. You have been focusing so much on things you do not have that you never get to appreciate the things that you do have. Take this time to embrace all of what and who is around you. That is what really matters. So Cancer, we have someone that's focusing so much on what they don't have. We all want things. If I could snap my fingers, I would want this, 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 and this. However, we all have to be grateful for the things that we do have. Everything. When you open your refrigerator, be grateful that you have food in it. Be grateful that you have a roof over your head. Be grateful that you have clean clothes to put on. Be grateful that you woke up this morning. If you live in an apartment, you may want a townhouse or you may want a home of your own. However, be grateful for the roof over your head and you'll work towards that home, that home ownership. Be grateful for the things that you do have. Let me read this again to you. Spirit wants you to be grateful. You have been focusing so much on things you don't have that you never get to appreciate the things that you do have. Take this time to embrace all of what and who is around you. That is what really matters. Even your relationship. As I said, this reading is for a cancer that is married, a cancer that is in a committed relationship, a cancer that just started a relationship and a cancer that is getting to know someone that it will turn into a relationship. Be grateful that someone has found you or you have found someone to spend your time with, to love on, to hold, to cherish. I'm grateful for everything in my life. I am grateful for everything. If only you knew, I am grateful for everything. This just in. This just in. Spirit comes to remind you that resilience is in your blood. You have the power to overcome anything life may have to throw at you. If you're feeling defeated about any situation in your life right now, Spirit says don't. For you may bend, but you are without a doubt unbreakable. I had to take a little time off from this because of a situation that transpired in my family. However, I may bend a little, but I can't be broken. You, Cancer, have that same fighting attitude you may bend, but you can't be broken. You have to have the mindset of loving you. You have to have the mindset of a warrior, of a lion. You have to have a mindset of that no one can break you. That mindset. 
nobody's words can harm you. Nobody's opinions of you matters. You have to have that mindset because there will be people, situations, and things that do come into your life to distract you, to try to harm you, and try to break you. But have the mindset of can't be broken. For you may bend, but you are without a doubt unbreakable. Cancer, you are unbreakable. People could throw stones. They can throw rocks, even a brick. Guess what? You still won't break. Let them feel how they feel. Let them think how they think. And you continue to do as you do, as long as you're not hurting anyone else. Do what you do, but always do the right thing, Cancer. Breaking news. Spirit says, silence your mind. Don't let your thoughts trap you inside your own head. Include meditation and affirmations into your daily schedule and watch as your thoughts begin to calm. Cancer, who isn't guilty of this overthinking? Who? I don't care what sign you are. I don't care who you are because we're all guilty of overthinking sometimes. However, silence the mind. Meditate, pray that whatever your situation is, whatever you're dealing with will soon pass. It may seem like doors are closed on you right now, but when you close your eyes, see yourself kicking those doors open. Don't stay in a mind of sadness. Don't stay in a mind of defeat. Don't stay there. Cancer, kick the door open. Ready? Pray, meditate. Daily affirmations. Don't live in your mind. Don't stay there. Because some people, right? including people that you think are your friends, some relatives, your neighbors, they may love to see you wallow. They may love to see you miserable and they may pretend to care about what you're going through. Shh, silence. Don't discuss your situations your situation, anything that you're going through, keep it to yourself. Because cancers, we have pinchers and we know how to crawl our way out. So get out of that overthinking. Get over, get over it. That why did this happen to me? I can't believe this happened. I thought, OMG, get out of that mindset and be like, shake it off. Shake it off. Get out of that mindset and shake it off. 
Stand up and continue to do you. Stop overthinking things. Breaking news. The bottom of the deck. Breaking news. Spirit says you are to remain drama free. You hear that? Spirit says you are to remain drama free. Don't let others pull you into a world of stress and mental turmoil. Remain in tranquility and avoid anything or anyone that is disturbing your peace. Bam. That's what I said, right? That's what I said. Don't let anyone disturb your peace. Stay away from those people, places, and things. Spirit says you are to remain drama free. See, people will try to pull you into their mess. People will start mess with you and say that you created the mess. You see how that works? People will come to you to gossip and you may never say a word. However, they'll go back and say, well, I discussed this with cancer. And you're like, hold up. I never said anything. Don't let people pull you into their mess, their things. You, Cancer, remain drama free. I hate drama. I dislike it to a T. Let's read this again. Spirit says, you are to remain drama free. Remain drama free, Cancer. Don't let others pull you into a world of stress and mental turmoil because miserable people will try to do just that. And we as Cancers with good hearts, the way we love people, the way we try to help people, we put people's needs ahead of our own. Guess what? Don't stop being a good person, Cancer, because of other people's BS. Don't let others pull you into a world of stress and mental turmoil. Remain in tranquility. I know that seems a little hard to do, especially when you got drama from the left, drama from the right, drama from the front, drama from the back. Guess what? Don't let anyone take you out of your spot. And you know what that spot is? Cancer, peace, happiness, love. Don't let anybody remove you from your spot. Stand on your peace. Stand on your love. Remain stress-free. Let them have their BS. Let them have their drama. And you say to them, I don't want any parts of it. Simply don't answer your phone. Don't answer a text. Don't send that email. Don't open your door. You remain drama free, Cancer. Don't let others pull you into a world of stress and mental turmoil. Remain in tranquility. And avoid anything or anyone that is disturbing your peace. Stay away from them. If they're family, it may be hard to do.
because they're family. And as cancers, we are so loyal. But guess what? It has to come a time where you have to say no more. No more. I can't open my door for you anymore. I can't answer my phone for you anymore. I can't be a part of your BS. However, Cancer, if someone really, really, really needs your help because they can't see the forest through the trees, you're going to help them. But you help them in a way that it doesn't disturb your peace. Let's see. I'm going to use my beauty and the tarot. I had to turn over a card, I apologize. But beauty and the tarot. Excuse me, my dogs are barking. I sincerely apologize for that. The dogs are barking. The last few readings that I did, the dogs were barking. I should have put them downstairs, but I did not. This is Beauty Tarot. Let's see what message our spirit guides have for you. Spirit guides, tell me what I need to hear. Show me what I need to see for the sign of cancer. That one flipped over, I'm gonna take it. And the first card out is strength. Cancer, strength. And that's your card. You need strength. And I'm gonna take these. Oh. Three more cards. Three more cards, fairly guys. I like to do a nine card spread. I like to do a nine card spread. I hope this is three. One, two, three. Exactly three. I'm gonna put this to the side. Cancer. You divine other person. The first card cancer that we have out is the number eight, strength. This is the strength card. Let me pick it up. I have to cut, get my nails cut. This is the strength card. Strength is represented by the number eight. Courage, patience, compassion, Confidence, perseverance, power, persuasion, taming, resilience. All of that we got from the few cards that I pulled out a few moments ago. The spiritual news deck. Because whatever situation that you're in that has you trapped in your mind, that has you overthinking, you have to have courage. Whatever you're going through, you have to have courage. And whomever is bringing the drama to you, have compassion for them. Because 
Sometimes miserable people try to insert their misery on other people. So have compassion for them and say, I want no parts of that. You have to have confidence. This is saying you need the strength to let people go. That don't mean you any good. You have to tame your thoughts. You need to stop overthinking. And you'll do that by meditating, by praying. The number eight. Let me explain to you what the number eight is. The number eight is actually a very spiritual number, symbolizing a positive mindset and mental stability. Your guardian angels are giving you a heads up about the abundance that will soon be coming to you, that will be soon on your way. Material abundance. In your career, you're going to be very successful. You do need to find balance between the spiritual and material aspects of your life in order to live as abundantly as possible, Cancer. It's time for you to have confidence and to have faith and to believe that everything is going to be okay. Have the strength to let people go that no longer serves you. Let go of anybody that drains your peace. We have the number 15, which is the devil. We have the devil card. Addictions. Hmm? Addictions, obsession, restrictions, secrecy, temptation, manipulation, sex. It could be so many reasons why the devil card showed up. And that one thing that I'm going to pick out is attachments to the wrong people. And you constantly obsessing over it, staying in your mind about it, overthinking certain situations when all you have to do is to remove people out of your life. The number 15 card, the number 15 is the devil. The angel number 15 is made up of the numbers one and five, which are both largely positive and powerful numbers. Number one is associated with leadership, optimism, and taking the initiative. You have to take the initiative to say no more. When you see the number 15, again and again, your angels are telling you to use your powers because you have the power to use your thoughts and actions to manifest your highest ideas. So stop overthinking. Turn that power around and start manifesting the outcome, what you want the outcome to be in your situation. We have the number 19, which is a major arcana, and that's the sun. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. That's happiness. That's satisfaction. That's hope. That's prosperity. Vitality. That's luck. That's clarity. That's achievements. That's love, that's fulfillment. The sun. Whatever you want it to be, it will be. Whatever you want the sun to be, it will be. 
manifest. You have some beautiful cards here, Cancer. We have the chariot. This is the Cancer card. This is the chariot. You're showing up. You are showing up in your own reading. How about that? This is the chariot. This is you. This is ambition. This is progress. This is victory. This is control. This is travel. Are you thinking about taking a vacation? This is determination. This is overcoming obstacles. This is success. Success. S-U-C-C-E-S-S. -S. Success. The number seven represents fullness in life. The number seven represents perfection. The number seven is also a number of intuition, spirituality, and mysticism, spiritual enlightenment, inner wisdom and strength, and psychic abilities. When you see this number, your guardian angels are letting you know that you are on the right path, Cancer. You will overcome any obstacle. Your angels are happy with your choices. Continue on your present path and you will be rewarded. Anybody that doesn't bring you peace, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. And -bye. this life... We have no time for hindrance, for disloyalty, for hurt, for pain. We have no time for pettiness. We have no time for those things that don't bring us peace. Say bye-bye to them. Say sayonara. Say hasta mañana. We have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups. That's contentment. That's satisfaction. That's happiness. Those are wishes. That's your wishes being fulfilled. Luxury. We see that. Your finances are going to be taking the turn for the better. That's success. We have success. Didn't I say that for the chariot? We have pleasure. We have abundance. And we have blessing. Many blessings. Manifest them. Manifest those blessings. We have the four of pentacles. We have the four of pentacles. Cancer, you're holding on to something. Someone is being stingy with your time and they're very possessive. They're withholding from you your peace. You're very guarded, Cancer. And someone is controlling you financially. They want to control you. You have to say bye-bye. You have to say bye-bye to that, to those things. You have to say bye-bye. Don't let anyone control your peace, your happiness, your joy. Because as you see, the Nine of Cups, this is your spirit, guys. You will have contentment. You will be happy. Your wishes will be fulfilled. You will have success. 
you will have abundance. Many blessings. Many blessings. The chariot. Victory is yours. You're overcoming so many obstacles. Success is yours. But the first card that came out is your strength. You have to be courageous. And you have to be confident enough to know that you can have the things that you manifest. We have the three of cups. Cancer, we have the three of cups. It's time for you to celebrate. You're going to be having a reunion with someone. You're going to be collaborating with someone. You may be invited to a party, but you will have happiness. You will meet new friends, friends that are like-minded, friends that are a part of your soul tribe. You're going to be welcome into a new group, a new group of people that respect you that honor you, that have feelings for you, that love you. You're gonna have a new set of friends. It's time to celebrate, but you will be reuniting with someone. This someone can be a relative, a friend that wants to apologize But I don't see it as an ex-lover because, as I said, this reading is for my cancers that are married, that are in a relationship, that is getting to know someone. I will be doing a single cancers reading, but this is for my cancers that are already in a relationship. And we have... The Eight of Cups, Cancer. We have the Eight of Cups. Cancer, you're walking away from people, places, things. You're walking away. You're letting go of anything and anybody that doesn't bring you peace. It's time to travel. You're withdrawing from these things. You're seeking the meaning of life, of yourself. You're digging deeper. You know why? Because you're respecting yourself. You respect yourself enough not to let these people continue to hurt you, manipulate you. No more turmoil, no more mental stress, no more mental anguish. You want tranquility. And to have that tranquility, you have to avoid anything or anyone that is disturbing your peace. And that's what you're doing with the Eight of Cups. Self-discovery. At one point in time in your life, you were worried about abandonment. You didn't know how to let go. You're no longer worried about someone abandoning you. You're no longer worried about you abandoning someone because you're discovering who you are and what you need and you need your peace. We have 21 you have the world. This is another major arcana. You have the world. This is completion. Once again, you're going to travel. This is accomplishment. This is fulfillment. This is international affairs. This is immigration. This is the world. Let the world be your oyster. Let the world be your oyster. 
21. The number 21 is a sign from your angels of advancement and success. I said it again, success. How many times did I say it? The number 21 is all about unity. This is where these new people are going to come in. Your soul tribe, your new friendships. This is the three of cups. This is about happiness. When you see the angel number 21 appear in your experience, it is an auspicious sign from your angels that you are on the verge of manifesting your desires on a large scale. Manifest. Believe and you will achieve. Have no doubts. Cancer. At the bottom of the deck, we have 13 and we know what that is. That's the death card. Scorpio, you're ending something. You're ending an old way of thinking. You're ending how you allow people to treat you, to manipulate you, to hurt you. You're ending the old relationship that you had with yourself with over thinking. Rebirth. It's time for a rebirth. The new you. Transformation. It's time for that change. New beginnings. This is the end. The end of the old. The end. This is renewal. Cancer, this reading was beautiful. I'm a Cancer and I needed this myself. Strength, the number eight. Devil, 15. Sun, 19. Chariot, seven. Nine of Cups, four of Pentacles, three of Cups, eight of Cups, 21, the world. 13, death. It's over. It's over. Let the new you please stand up. We are going to close this reading with my soul truth deck. Cancer. Congratulations. Cancer, happiness, success, financial prosperity, travel, new life, new you, new beginning. It's time, right? It's been our time. The time is right now. Manifest. Pray. Pray, pray, pray. Prayer changes things. My mother, anytime she wrote me a letter, before we hung up the phone, she would always say, pray, 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 always. And I would say, okay, mommy. And I would meditate, 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 always. Manifest. Manifest, manifest always. I just had a situation in my life. And it's not over. To the universe, I give the glory. My promise I shall keep. Bend, but not broken. Negativity doesn't belong near you or me. Happiness, peace.
peace, joy, love, laughter. One card. Cancer, from whom can I release my judgment right now? Judgment closes our heart to truth and separates us from love. It binds us to our fear and holds us in shame. On whom are you placing judgment right now? Is it someone in your life? Is it yourself? Release the shackles, drop the expectations, and be grateful for what is. This couldn't be the perfect card because it is. It's exactly what we discussed. Today's soul action. Look at the person you are judging as if you are looking at a small child. See them learning and growing falling down and making mistakes. See their desire to be loved and accepted. Add even more grace to open your heart to this truth. When I lift the judgment from myself and others, I uncover my own truth. I am loved. I am whole. I am limitless. And so are they. I am limitless. You are limitless. You are loved. You are whole. At the bottom of the deck, am I constantly showing up? Some trade their dreams for comfort. Yet comfort is the enemy of progress. Success requires showing up every single day, even when you don't feel like it, and even when it feels uncomfortable. It takes guts and endless visions to stay consistent to your dream. Show up even when you don't feel like it. Show up anyway. Stand up. Keep that door open. Walk through it with your head held high. Today's soul action. Journal where you can be more consistent in your life. In alignment with your soulful goals. Then show up. Show up. Show up for yourself. Do everything that you can do for yourself. Show up. Show up and let those people go. The naysayers, the hecklers, the shit starters. The controversial people, the liars, the whoremongers, let them go. The gossipers, let them go. The backstabbers, let them go. Those are demons. I don't want a demon in my life. Do you want a demon in your life? Let them go. It's time. Cancer, I wish you nothing but peace, happiness, love, laughter. I send you many blessings. Hold on. Manifest, meditate. This was all about you.